it's been a long time, you know, I wrote, sort of came across a story, God, I yeah. can't think, um, 13 years ago or something, and we wrote the book in 2009 or 10. It's been a long journey, but it's all down to Morris, you know, it's his story. I just sort of found out about it and wrote it, and Craig's made a brilliant film, so very pleased, yeah. I wish I could be as good as he is about criticism. <laughs> he doesn't, he just, it just goes off him like water for ducks back, you know. I'm terribly sensitive, always have been about criticism and I just admire Morris, he, he never, just never gives up and doesn't, uh, doesn't accept other people's opinion of himself, he has his own view of himself. That's, that's you're lucky. I mean, of course, to the character, it's never funny, so I, I laugh when I read it, and so I like that. And I like, I, I, I've done quite a bit of comedy in the theater and had some success with it, but, but been generally in, in front of the camera, played more serious roles, I think. Maybe not the BFG, but even the BFG is, an, is different. But, uh, no, this is a lovely, humorous comedy of character and situation. Uh, so it was nice. it's nice. I like those kind of things. I'm not very. I can't remember a single joke. And if I did remember it, I'd still mess it up. Well, I don't know. No, I don't really know the golfing community. I have a lot of friends who love golf, and certainly playing it on the film, I can see why. It's fascinating, uh, but I think that the the authorities at that time that uh, they were having a challenge from America that America had three tournaments, and so everything was happening in America, and they they were really having difficulty getting the big stars to come to England to play here. Though we were the founding of the whole thing, so that they were very nervous about that, and so they were particularly worried that Morris's behavior would put off more Americans and so they, they weren't completely just being snobbish they were they were trying to actually defend the uh, the British Open so Morris was a crane operator in Barrow in 19, and in 1976 he quit that and he got a British Open form he didn't know what handicap meant so he took professional and they didn't check it so he got in and he recorded the worst ever record of a one-to-one um, to the point where they banned him from golf completely and then he got back in a few times.